Hi, this is Interstellar Warrior. In this video, I'm going to show you some more Looney Tunes residual evidence that I found off the internet. I know that I said before that I probably wasn't going to do any more Looney Tunes residual evidence, but I decided to go ahead and give it one more shot and see if I can find or squeeze out as much Looney Tunes residual evidence I could find off the internet. I was hoping to find some products or novelties that had T-O-O-N-S spelled on them, um, but I had no such luck. But I did find some publications that had Looney Tunes spelled with a T-O-O-N-S on them. And I thought you might find that interesting. So I decided to go ahead and show you what I found. With that being said, let's get to it. Okay, so first up is OffBeOregon.com. In this article, they wrote an article about Mel Blanc. And the title of this article is Voice of Looney Tunes was the terror of his Portland High School. Here they have tunes spelled correctly, T-O-O-N-S. This was published December 18th, 2011. They also have tunes spelled correctly down here, below this image of the intro credits. Here it is, Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S. So this journalist got it correct. Okay, next. Wait for it to come up here. Okay, encyclopedia.com. Now this is about Penny Marshall. It's a little bio about her, about her career. There's something I found interesting here. Right. Here it is. All right. It has here that she appeared as a guest on numerous television series, including where is it? The Super, The Bob. Newhart Show, Happy Days, Saturday Night Live. Of course, you know her from also from The Burn and Shirley, of course. That's what she's famous for. But down here it has that she, was, she also guest starred on Bugs Bunny Looney Tunes All-Star 50th Anniversary. Here they have tunes spelled correctly. T-O-O-N-S. And this is on encyclopedia.com. So I don't think they would misspell it. Oh, it says copyright 2004, so when this was written in the original reality, it was written correctly. The spelling was, was correct. Excuse me, sorry for that. Okay, just wanted to show you one last time here before I move on. Okay, on to the next. This is comicbooklibrary.org. Here they also have tunes spelled correctly. T-O-O-N-S. Down here too. So three times that was spelled correctly. Right here, right here, and right here. But down here, this is kind of strange. They have tunes spelled how it is in this current reality. T-U-N-E-S. And this is a little, I guess, a bio about Looney Tunes, a little history of it. But all throughout this little article, Tunes is spelled T-U-N-E-S, but strange how they have in the title, T 
Toons is spelled T-O-O-N-S. I guess a little bit of the residual evidence stayed behind along with along in this current reality along with how the tunes is spelled in this current reality okay moving on Okay, I found this from the North Texas Daily, August 11th, 1977. The title I thought was interesting, Looney Tunes Draw Interest of NT Biologists. Apparently this biologist here, he likes to collect uh, transparencies and cartoon sketches. Let's go. Let's, let's move this up here for you. Dr. Moltec collects cartoon sketches and transparencies. But I thought it was interesting in the title they had it correct. T O O N S. Okay, moving on. Okay. Here we go. This person has a list of their collections here. One of them being pertaining to Bugs Bunny, Warner Brothers, Looney Tunes Comic Digest, 1971. See, has it correct? Let's move on down. Also pertaining to Roadrunner, Warner Brothers Looney Tunes Comic Digest, spelled correctly here. Let's move on down again. Same thing. This is Tweety and Sylvester, Warner Brothers Looney Tunes Comic Digest, also spelled correctly T O O N S. Moving on. This person here sells copies of television broadcasts off major networks like CBS, ABC, etc. They sell uh, copies on DVDs of your favorite shows. You can order those from this person. And see what this person has here. Look at here, CBS and ABC Saturday morning, August 21st, 1976, Jabberjaw, Looney Tunes, T-O-O-N-S, and Clue Club, two hours with original commercials. I'll highlight it for you, see? Correct. This guy's got it right. All right, let's move on down. What else do they have here? Nickelodeon, 1994, block featuring Looney Tunes, and another 1998 block with the Charlie Brown and Snoopy show, also with original commercials. I'll highlight that for you. He's got it correct. All right. On to the next one, Cartoon Network. January 2001, featuring Looney Tunes, Marathon, Old Black and white cartoons and Tex Avery stuff, all with original commercials. I'll then highlight it for you. T O O N S. All right, it's on to the last one here. It's late night TV comp. I don't know what uh, that's short for. I don't. Not familiar with this show. 
but it's uh, July 1st, 1992. Has a list of the shows, and actually, I don't know if that's part of that. It's unhighlighted here. That's not part of it, actually. Here it is. It's just here. It's in its own category down here. I thought it was part of this above. I thought it was part of this above uh, list here, but it's not. Okay, Looney Tunes, May September through September, 1987, with original commercials. So he's got it spelled correctly here. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the big screen cinema guide. New York, New York, Time Warner Cable presents free movies outside and in. Posted on Monday, August 18th, 2008. Time Warner Cable is presenting a free movie series that will take place in the New York, New York area under the stars and indoors. The events are to celebrate Warner Brothers Pictures' 85th anniversary, which is a Time Warner company. And it has a schedule right here. And look what they have as you scroll down here. Friday, September 5th, Looney Tunes back in action. And look here, they have Toons spelled correctly, T-O-O-N-S. They're showing that on Staten Island, New York. Histor historic Richmond Town. So I see they have it spelled correctly here, because back in that reality, that's how it was originally spelled. I've looked up this movie, and of course now in this current reality, Toons is spelled T-U-N-E-S. No surprise there. Okay, I found this publication, Digital Press, the biodegradable source for video gamers. Psychopedia. Let's read the rest of that for you. Let me scroll down here. A collector's compendium of, of video game manufacturer information. And let's see what I found here. Look at here. Looney Tunes Cartoon Maker. They have it spelled correctly here. And here's the Looney Tunes Hotel Game. Now, this is by Atari. They have it spelled correctly here. Okay, let's keep moving. I already showed you that. Looney Tunes Space Race. Another video game. They have it spelled correctly. T-O-O-N-S. Let's keep moving. Okay, Looney Tunes Carrot Crazy. Looney Tunes Collector Alert. Looney Tunes Racing. Looney Tunes Twubble. All spelled correctly. Looney Tunes Racing. Looney Tunes Sheep Raider. I looked this particular game up. Of course, now it's spelled T O N E S. Okay, Looney Tunes on Game Boy. Looney Tunes Game Boy Color. So one more. Looney Tunes B Ball. And I don't think they would misspell tunes here. It's not a a typo. This particular publication, these people here that produce this publication will know how to spell tunes. For these particular uh, tunes video games. So, that's some good residual evidence right here. Okay, one more for you. Of course, this is off of Entertainment Weekly. It's their website. Look what they have down here. This particular article, Continuing the Looney Tunes Tradition. Of course, Tunes is spelled correctly. T-O-O-N-S, the way I remember it. Continuing the Looney Tunes Tradition. A look at Steven Spielberg's new series, Tiny Toon Adventures. Posted September 28, 1990. 
down here in the article, tunes is spelled T-O-N-E-S. Strange how they they still have a tune spelled correctly here, but in this current reality, that is spelled incorrectly. That's how I see it. This T-O-N-E-S is spelled incorrectly pertaining to Looney Tunes. So. Some more residual evidence. 